Hello Pistons fans, and welcome to the Pistons TV. It's time Detroit. It's time Detroit. Let's go to work. Hi, and welcome to the second episode of Pit the Pistons TV. Today I want to talk about why we should hang on to John Kuster. Well, the main reason is that we have had made too, way too many coaches the past few years. It's just about getting some kind of consistency into our game. You see, when you change coaches that much, the teams just don't seem to have that chemistry that you need. Some coach wants to play the guards more, the other coach wants to play the forwards more and get them the ball and score that way. You have triangle systems, you have Princeton offenses, and you have a mixture of all of those. So the teams can't get used to the, uh, the style of play that the coach wants them to. My prime example, which really makes me feel good, is Mike Woodson of the Atlanta Hawks. He's been there for several years now, I think four or five, and you can really see how all this time he had basically the same players. He got them when they were really young, like Joe Smith or Al Horford and Marvin Williams, of course. And you can really see that they know what their coach wants them to do. They just do what they're supposed to do. Even Joe Smith, who had a horrible shot selection, and you never thought Mike Woodson would come through to him and tell him something, even he is playing at a great pace right now and he's one of the most improved players this year so even after all those years the coach unsuccessfully tried to make him a great player it didn't last but now it lasts so what I want is John Kuster given getting maybe two or three years and if the Pistons don't get back into the playoffs maybe we should fire him but until then we could might as well try to well let him do his work Okay, that's it for today.